Good morning, everybody. Thank you for joining us. A very warm welcome. My name is Michalis Kondopodes, and as a first generation student, an immigrant, and now a chair in global childhood and youth studies, I'm really pleased to be sharing this very exciting live YouTube session today on learning in inclusive knowledge societies after COVID-19. Could we have the first slide, please? My colleagues know how much I like acronyms. So our hashtag for today is links, L for learning, in inclusive knowledge, K societies. Uh, the second slide, please. And uh, our event uh, brings together creates links between a few different centers from the University of Leeds, ICY, Inclusion Childhood and Youth Research Center at the School of Education, the Center for Research in Digital Education, the Center for Disability Studies. Uh, we're all linked with the Leeds Institute for Social Sciences at the Faculty of Social Sciences. And uh, as you will see later in the discussion, uh, there are very clear links to the Center for Applied Education Research, uh, a center which, among others, uh, other activities coordinates the Born in Bradford cohort uh, study. The next slide, please. Links is also about uh, creating links between our different partners, uh, including Save the Children, UNESCO and UNICEF and colleagues, uh, as well as uh, activists and practitioners from all around the world. I know, and this is really fantastic to be doing this on YouTube, that there are colleagues joining us from uh, Japan. And this is afternoon time, so we can say konnichi wa to these colleagues. Uh, I would like to say ni hao to our students from China. Bon dia to the colleagues who are joining us from Brazil. Uh, and uh, you will see later, Professor Roger Slay uh, is going to join us from Australia. Before moving any further, I would like to say that uh, we wouldn't have been here today if it was not uh, for the great work uh, by our head of school, Professor Alice Dainan, uh, who is working day and night, dealing patiently with all requests from all staff and students uh, at the School of Education and ensuring the smooth uh, function uh, behind the scenes, so to say. Uh, the School of Education is ranked 64th uh, in the QS World University Rankings by subject, uh, and that's the recent 2021 uh, statistics. And this is clearly a result of Alice's excellent uh, leadership. Alice is a professor of applied linguistics and internationally renowned for her work on lexical approaches to language analysis and uh, teaching and she's with us today. So Alice, we're very thankful to you. Would you like to say a few words to welcome our invited speakers and viewers? Thank you, Michalis. Um, I can't take as much credit as you give me for the success um, of the school and for the um, fantastic work that you and colleagues are doing though. It's kind of you to suggest that, but I can't take the credit. I'd like to welcome everybody to this event and to the School of Education at the University of Leeds and as has been so often the case in the last year to say how nice it would have been to to all meet face to face. Um, as leader of the school I'm going to say a little bit about what we do in general. So our many threads of educational research can be grouped into two themes. Firstly, we look at what you would think of very immediately as educational research. We study how people learn and we look at how that could be made more effective through formal and informal teaching, edu 
educational structures and tools, classrooms, digital devices, and so on. And secondly, and really important, I think, to all of us in this school, is we look at education as a driver for fair and inclusive societies, regionally um, in West Yorkshire, nationally in the UK, and globally. And inclusion's at the heart of this. Um, it's not an add-on, it's right at the heart of everything that we do. We study and teach inclusion in terms of individuals and as a societal issue. We work inclusively and we develop and deploy inclusive methodologies so that from the start, our research engages and speaks to the methodologies of our stakeholders. At the level of the individual, we've got expertise in recognising difference and the diverse resources of learners in any setting. Um, and in perhaps the most central understanding of inclusion um, more broadly, we look at disability, we have projects in Britain and overseas, and colleagues work on various aspects of special needs and educational inclusion. We tackle inclusion at a societal level through our work on equality and how this is achieved through policy, for example, on poverty, migration and schooling. And we have funded work on um, social exclusion during adolescence and a series of projects and publications on child poverty and vulnerability within the framework of the new sociology of childhood. We're also doing very important funded work on the language challenges that underprivileged young people and children face in accessing the school curriculum, um, in which we collaborate um, across disciplines with linguists. And the ambition here is to provide teachers and other educationalists with the knowledge that they need to support children from these backgrounds to achieve their potential educationally alongside their more advantaged peers. Cutting across all our work in the school is attention to language and to educational discourses. At the primary school level, we're looking at how COVID is impacting on educational progress of children aged four to five in reception classes at primary schools and how this progress differs along class and educational status lines during the pandemic. And of course, our research into digital education has examined the digital divide internationally as well as in the UK and how digital education can drive more inclusive societies. So I've given you a really speedy tour um, of our re research in the School of Education. And Michalis has talked to you about how this connects with, um, with other researchers across the university in the region. I'm going to hand back now to Michalis to talk through the programme for the day. So once again, welcome and thank you for coming to this event.